If you would have gone back in time and told somebody in 2018 that Tom Brady would leave the Patriots to go win a Super Bowl for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, they would have looked at you like you had two heads. Well, I guess a lot of us do, actually. But regardless, pretty much no matter what, somebody was going to get open. But oh my goodness, it's a huge interception by Richie Grant. He tips those to stay in bounds. Grant down the sideline. No one will catch him. Touchdown, Richie Grant. Derek Carr again has gifted us with another interception when he absolutely did not need to at all. Eat the throw. Don't throw that. He tries to go all the way across to the sideline with no angle. And Richie Grant's pick six is going to put us up by 10 unless he stepped out of bounds. It was very close. There will be a review and we'll see if this one's coming back. I don't think so. I think Richie Grant managed to stay in. I think that's going to be a touchdown. Second and 35. The fuck? What do you mean? What do you mean second and 35? What do you mean? It, oh, it's intercepted. We agree it's intercepted. Richie Grant does step out of bounds. How about first and 10? From the 38. 30 to 37. First and 10. Second and 35. It can't be second and 35. Why, how does that make any sense? EA. Second and 35 after an interception. Go to Kyle Pitts. Win down the field. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Kyle Pitts, massive play down the field. Demario Davis sucks. This game sucks. Ritter with a bomb. And he connects to Pitts. I mean, Demario Davis not even involved in the play. I don't know why they showed him. He caught a stray for no reason. All right, now it's first and 10. Algier looking to the, go to the end zone. Blah, 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 blah. Sound like Donnie from the Wild Thornberries. Can't even speak. Tyler Algier made me so excited. What is going on? This... This game. I mean, his skin, he looks like a dinosaur. You can peel it right off. You can see through him. He looks like, a, what, a stegosaurus or a, something with that. A hunchback. Could use an outside line. His name is not Mike Hunt. Mike, pause, Hunt. Editing genius. I'm, this video is going to get age restricted now. Oh my goodness. I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to bleep that. I, I know, <laughs> like, that's one word they don't mess around with. Is the next Tuesday? This is unbelievable. And gives the Vikings another option. You can run 12 personnel. You can do whatever the hell is going on there. Getting a little bit too friendly with your teammates. But that just shows you what Sharif easily brings to a locker room. The bonding is next level. Next level. Maybe even two next level, but it's okay nowadays. Cardinals on the clock. Just edging all the way around. But it's time to prove it. And apparently this cat's never been more ready. Says, coach, I didn't put all this work. That's what I do, by the way. I call people cat. It makes me kind of seem hip and cool. But uh, yeah, he's here to make plays and help the team win. I see him there. Oh, you see him. We got freaking Joey eyeballs over here. It's not even, that's not an expression. Um, okay. I will hit you with a mace. Dude, fucking target died. All right, whoops. <laughs> My bad on that one. Who's laughing now? Shut the fuck up. There is Bijan Robinson, which I watched an interview recently, and obviously I'm very familiar with him as a Huge Texas fan. It's part of why I chose this Falcons team to be my franchise squad in, in Madden 24. But he says, even though he pronounces it as Bijan, told everybody it's Bijan, his mom is like, it's Bijan. 
Why are you saying your own name wrong? And he laughed about it. I, what do I even call him now? At first, when he was recruited by Texas and they signed him, got him to commit, five-star recruit, huge news. I'm like, oh, Bijan Robinson. That makes sense to me. And then everyone was calling him Bijan. He called himself Bijan. I go, oh, I, I've been mispronouncing it. And now, three years later, it all comes crashing down. I don't know what to do. Conflicted, to say the least. But not relevant. I think I'm just going to call him Bijan. I'm going to call him what he calls himself. And that's going to make things easier. It, I already get corrected enough for calling Tua Tunga Vailoa Tua Tunga Vailoa and not Tago Vailoa, which is not his name, by the way. It's pronounced Tunga Vailoa. I still get corrected for pronouncing it correctly by Neanderthals. So I'm just going to keep Bijan. I don't need to be corrected for something else. Anyway, George Love takes the field. Hawaii, I feel like, is always going to be one of those schools that makes these type of lists for me. You know, it's just... It's kind of an interesting challenge. Yes, it is the USA, but it's pretty far separated. That's how there can be sneak attacks and nobody notices for a little while. But out in Hawaii, I mean, who are you going to recruit? You got Manti Teo and his cousins, and that's kind of about it. I was born with a congenital heart defect. Oh. What does that mean exactly? That means that my heart doesn't push blood through my body properly. Yikes. Tommy. I'm sorry, I had no idea. He literally is not playing with any heart out there. <laughs> Who would order sushi on a Monday? <laughs> You're not funny. I'm Kelly Porter. I'm Reggie's producer. Oh my goodness. Okay, if you don't mind, I hate her. Sit you down. I'm gonna mic you up. How does that sound? Okay, great. He doesn't. Does he know how to speak? Can Ben Bones use his word? Or is he just like all, oh, me play football? You know what? Like, he's like, is that gonna be okay? And he's just like, petrified, not even saying anything. Look at his eyes, they're huge, dude. He's just like, ready for the interview. She's like, Jesus. I mean, in simulation, the Bucks are actually out to a lead. Dolphins tie things up at 14 and then take the lead 21 14. And I need to be online. I don't wanna be. Next team up is going to be. The Miami Dolphins, well, they only have one direction to go, so we don't even have to spin the wheel at all. The only way the Dolphins can go is north. We're not going to have them take a boat and attack Cuba, so they're going to take on the Bucks. This has not been fixed the entire year. It's not, like, game-breaking, I guess, even though it is. Hurts immersion a little bit when two players try to fuse into each other, like it's an X-Men episode or something. Maybe that's a bad reference. I haven't seen X-Men. Should have referenced something I've seen, probably. I don't know about people fusion. It's like we got Siamese twins in Madden. I don't know what to do with that. Or conjoined twins. As I can tell you here in Texas, it's tough to be a lot warmer than right here in Houston. It, it's so hot all the time, except for today, actually. It's like 55, which I know isn't freezing or anything. Every time I say something like that, it's, well, I'm, I'm here in Minnesota, and it's negative 40, and I feel fine. I'm wearing shorts. Listen. Compared to the 80-something that it was a few days ago, 55 feels like a blizzard. Maybe not that quite bad. I'm from the Northeast as well. So, uh, anyway. And it's an incredible play by Jewel, who takes a knee in the end zone, uh, bringing the ball out to the 20. It's a touchback. Yet, they have the ball on R5? What? Uh, how is that possible? That's the five they're talking about? What is this game? Does anything work? They have the ball on R5? They just got... I mean, we had the ball on the five-yard line. They got, from one interception, 95 yards of field position. And if you count the touchback, right? 75 free yards? And now they're knocking on the door over the end zone? And I'm going to be honest. The goal of this series is fun and competitive games, building the team, building storylines. And I feel like up to this point, we've done a really good job of that as, as much as you can do in just year one, right? And some of the comments, like I know some of you are brain dead and struggle to function on a daily basis anyway, but even more so with Falcons franchise. Do, do you wish I was 0-14 at this point? We're 7-7. Seven and seven. 
Uh, it's too easy. It's too easy. Your wins are by one score at the last second, and you're not losing by 50 enough. Shut the fuck up. How about that? <laughs> All right. Now that that is off my chest, and look at this guard. <laughs> uh, we're going to kill him right now. Oh, okay. What is it? I'm not controlling it. What is Ezio doing? Is my controller... Lo I'm not touching anything. Dude, what's happening? I have no idea what's going on. Ezio's broken. Ezio is broken. I don't know what to do. I don't know what's happening. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to figure it out, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Take it easy.